Hi, I'm Steve Plage, and I'll be your host for this edition, this edition of Nonprofit Spotlight. Uh, Nonprofit Spotlight is a production of the Volunteer Advisory Committee here at Community Television, and each month we highlight a uh, nonprofit in our community that's doing great, great work. And today we're really happy to have uh, talk about Elder Day Adult Day Healthcare, and we're happy to have Lois Sones with us, who is the program director there. Lois, welcome. Thank you. Before we start talking about Elder Day and, and really uh, get into the wonderful programs, as I said, that you're offering, we have a short video clip to let people see kind of uh, some of the folks who are being served and some of the folks who actually provide that service. Let's take a look at that, and we'll come back, and Lois and I will talk about it. Great. Hi, um, I'm Liliana Renzi, and I'm the Activities uh, Coordinator for Elder Day. And um, I'm very proud of this program, very proud of our participants and uh, what we do here. I think that it is um, a very necessary and very important uh, um, resource for the community. Our participants um, get to feel independent, cared for, um, among all the health issues and health um, related um, services we give here. I think it's really important that we also um, let them be themselves. Let them be not just the wife, not just the grandmother or the grandfather. They get to be John. They get to be uh, Susan. They get to be Stephen. And um, away from wherever their um, home situation is, they get to be independent here. My name is Josephine O'Connor and I've come to Elder Day for a long time and I really, really enjoy it because the people are so, so wonderful. I give them a gold star for being so good to us. My name is Noelle Acosta. I'm an LVN at Elder Day, and I really enjoy the participants that, are, that come here, and I really love the people that work here. They're amazing, and the participants are great, and I love the fact that there is this for people that might not have access to a social outlet. Uh, my name is Patricio Aragon. And uh, I've been here this time for about three weeks. I had no balance. But came in here, coming here, the games that we have here, like dominoes, and we have a word search or word findings. That helped me get, get back my my way of thinking and I think that's, it helped me get my, my balance back. Uh, my name is Elena Ambrosio. Uh, I am the program, uh, I mean, uh, the administrative assistant and outreach coordinator. Uh, I've been working here for about seven years um, and I love this place because I love working with the participants. I know I'm making a difference in their lives and their family members' lives. And I like it because um, I get experience from all the participants about life, about they give you advices, and I also see the progress uh, physically and mentally on the participants. And it's a really good joy like to enjoy the day here with them because um, it's a lot of fun, and I like what I do. They help all the people here that are, are not very mobile and everything, but they're just great people, and God bless them all. And of course, that's just a glimpse of, uh, let me do this here, there we go. That's just a glimpse of the folks who are not only served, but the people who do serve them, service providers over there, wonderful. <laughs> let me tell our folks uh, that are going to be viewing this about Elder Day Adult Day Healthcare, and let me read their mission statement to them. Uh, we empower elders to live with greater independence and dignity. Here, adults in our community profit from healthcare services, respite, and companionship. Elder Day is a part of the Community Bridges Family of Programs. And Lois, uh, you're a program director there. Tell us a little bit about the work that you do uh, with Elder Day. Well, um, 
my my job is to sort of run the program mm -hmm. overall. Right. And um, really what I do is I sort of shepherd things along. The, uh, my team, the good shepherd. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah. My, team, my team are the ones who really uh -huh. do the, right. they do the yeah. work. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. the ones who do mm -hmm. the work. They're the ones who provide the nursing care, provide mm -hmm. um, the medication for, for our participants. They're the ones who do the day-to-day -day mm -hmm. work, taking people, um, get, getting them their meals, taking them to the bathroom, right. even you know, really very general day-to-day -day things. Mm -hmm. So we, we take care of yeah. some of the most vulnerable people right. in the county. Yeah. And we cover the whole county, mm -hmm. so we bring people to Elder Day from the yeah. entire county. And elders in our community here in Santa Cruz County, uh, if they're interested in the services that Elder Day provides, how do they mm -hmm. kind of uh, get entrance into that? It's, it's really easy. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> kind, of, kind of any way you want to try mm -hmm. um, will work. You can make a phone call just to mm -hmm. Elder Day, um, and I can give you that number. Please um, do, absolutely. Yeah, we want to make sure people know how to get a hold of you. <laughs> it's 458-3481. Okay, and we have it on the screen, so that's wonderful. Perfect. Also, well, okay, yeah. great. And um, they, so they, can call, they can walk in the door. Mm -hmm. I love for people to walk right. in the door. That, so between... We're open from 9 to 3, but between 10 to 2 is a good time. Mm -hmm. And um, I like it when people just walk in yeah. the door. They don't need to make an appointment. Right. They don't need, we don't need to know ahead of time. Mm -hmm. They just come, come on in, look yeah. at it, see what it's like. And uh, where um, is that located? So we're at 100 Pioneer Street, Suite C. We're kind of around the back. Okay. And, and I'm sure um, it's a very welcoming space for people. Kind of describe uh, what people would see as they walk in. Yeah, it's it's one of the things that I really like about Elder Day uh -huh. because it's um, people often think because we take care of older people that we're going to look like a sad institutional right. facility, yeah. and that it just isn't the case. Mm -hmm. You walk in the door and it's a happy place. Yeah, I mean, it, people are often surprised. They walk in and they mm -hmm. kind of go, "Oh, it's it's nice in here." Yeah, you know, we don't necessarily have the most expensive or fanciest furniture or equipment, mm -hmm. but um, it's really a happy place. So yeah. people walk in the door, they'll see um, participants, um, and we like to call people participants mm -hmm. because sure. they're, they're people, they're not, right, we don't see course. them as patients, yeah. we don't see them as people who are ill, we see them mm -hmm. as people who are there right. taking part in our program. And, and I'm sure they formed their kind of own community amongst themselves. Absolutely. Can, yeah. There's, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Really close friendships mm -hmm. get formed and um, people get to know. We don't assign people to tables. Our tables fit sort of four to eight people. Yeah. And we don't assign people to tables, but people assign themselves yeah. to tables. Yeah. They kind of choose a place that mm -hmm. they fit. And there's a real community there. Yeah. Um, we had a participant not too long ago who became quite ill. And um, her entire table would call her and they would go to see her they would they would um, they they really are mm -hmm. deep long lasting yeah. friendships that people develop and i'm glad you mentioned the fact about uh, the, the the life uh, quality of life enhancement because a lot mm -hmm. of people when they're older they have loved ones who are older are reluctant to really have them be in any kind of a center or kind of a lesson hospital mm -hmm. just the name implies that people are kind of you know this is the end of life mm -hmm. and it's not going to be a very happy time for them yeah. when in reality uh, because we were talking earlier about uh, lifespans expanding and people mm -hmm. really having a joy for life and being able mm -hmm. to to enjoy those years even though they're they're getting a bit uh, a bit you know long in the tooth as right. we all will at <laughs> right. some point right if we're lucky if, if we're, we're lucky, lucky absolutely. yeah 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 so I, I say to people often sometimes family members like adult children will bring their their parents mm -hmm. to of Elder Day, yeah. and they'll kind of say mm, I don't know this doesn't seem like the right place for me mm -hmm. and I often say to people this is the place coming here to this place is what's going to keep you independent right. and in your own home yeah. because it's 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 an incredible thing that mm -hmm. we do. We, we provide service that's kind of a lot like service that's provided in a residential care facility mm -hmm. or nursing care facility. Mm -hmm. We provide health care. We provide structured day activities. We have um, community companionship mm -hmm. games. We do um, a lot of fun things right. and caring for people, but they're still living in their own homes. Right. They don't have yeah. to be, they don't have to be 
living in an institution. Mm -hmm. right. and, and to me, that's really the beauty of what our program is. Yeah. We keep people as healthy as possible mm -hmm. for as long as possible and living in their own homes. And that's what everybody wants. And I'm sure they, yeah. uh, that was a wonderful uh, mission to have yeah. and it's yeah. a wonderful outlook to have that people get there. Now we noticed on the roll that you do have uh, registered nurses on site and their medical care. Uh, talk about kind of the continuum of care maybe that's provided there to people who are part of your, your participants. Yeah, yeah. So we have some participants come to us and they're with us for a few months or a year. Mm -hmm. we, ha we have other participants who've been with us for 15 years. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And um, so, again, it's keeping people as strong and healthy as possible. Absolutely. Yeah. So the nurses, the nurses meet with people. We do evaluations of a, kind of a thorough team evaluation mm -hmm. of all of our participants every mm -hmm. six months. Um, there's, a, there's a nursing evaluation a physical therapy, occupational therapy, dietitian evaluates them if mm, they mm -hmm. have special dietary needs. Mm -hmm. uh, social work helps, um, evaluates with the family and the participant. Uh, so there's really a thorough evaluation right. and um, we change our plan of care mm -hmm. if it's necessary every six months. Mm -hmm. And um, again, we try to come up with every way we can using other community services as well, using everything we have mm -hmm. to support our participants right. in staying um, as healthy and strong mm -hmm. as possible. And of course, uh, elders, as, as we get older, uh, to improve or maintain your quality of life, uh, there are medications that people take. And so one of the problems I think that uh, are perceived uh, if elders, they uh, have trouble getting to the doctor, getting to the pharmacy, mm -hmm. and then maintaining that regimen. Mm -hmm. you know, so they'll really take their, their medication on time as directed. Thank you for asking about that because that's one of the big things that we do. First of all, our nurses, we have a medical director, but he doesn't work directly with our participants. Mm -hmm. But our nurses do. We have two registered nurses and two LVNs, licensed vocational right. nurses. And um, one of the things that our nurses do is they coordinate very closely with the physicians. And they look at how people are doing. If we think there's a medication mm -hmm. that's maybe not working for somebody that mm -hmm. needs to be changed, um, then they'll contact the physicians. They'll work very closely with the physicians mm -hmm. and um, to make sure that everybody's getting the medications course, they need yeah. and really understand how to take the medications because mm -hmm. that's yeah. a big issue sometimes oh, no is people not taking medications the way they need them. Mm -hmm. Then the other thing is that our LVNs actually administer medications if people need oh, okay. them. Yeah. So we have some people who really have difficulty, people who live alone for instance, not with family members mm -hmm. who can help them, but live alone who have a lot of difficulty taking their medication mm -hmm. correctly. So we can give them their medication at Elder Day and then we'll send them home with, with a little pill box for just the weekend because mm -hmm. we're only open mm -hmm. Monday through Friday. So, okay. they're, so they're the weekends yeah. that sometimes people need mm -hmm. that extra help so we send them home with a pillbox for yeah. that. But making sure that people get their correct medications yeah. is a really big yeah, part of, of what course. we do. And yeah. you talked about uh, your folks being participants. They're not residents, of course. Now, right. um, do you use uh, the, one of the programs that Community Bridges has, of course, their wonderful lift line. Do you use that uh, to transport? Yeah, part of, the, part of Elder Day's program overall includes transportation. Oh, wonderful. So some people choose to, to come on their own or have, have a family member bring mm -hmm. them but um, we provide through using LiftLine, which is the sister mm -hmm. program of Elder Day at, at, through Community Bridges. Absolutely, yeah. We provide transportation from basically door to door. Oh, for goodness so sakes. So the LiftLine drivers actually yeah. knock on people's doors yeah. and bring them from, yeah. from their door to our door. Yeah. And so I'll tell you, as an aside, uh, we were talking earlier, I worked uh, with the Winter Shelter this last year and to transport mm -hmm. our folks, our participants, mm -hmm. uh, we used LiftLine and the LiftLine drivers could not have been more courteous, more helpful. They're just a wonderful group yeah. of folks who really yeah. care about the people they're serving. So, yeah. uh, and it's just one of the great programs we, we did mention as we read the mission statement that Elder Day, Elder Day is a program of Community Bridges, has a many, many programs. To talk right. about a couple of the other programs yeah. that Community Bridges has. And a shout out to our good friend Ray Cansino, uh, who is the executive director there. Ray, hello. Thank you for your great work. <laughs> yeah. Lois and I were just talking about that. But talk yeah. a little bit about some of the other programs that Community Bridges has because there's so many of them. Right. So Community Bridges is, we call it a family of 10 of course, programs yeah. because we, we provide services for families from 
basically birth all the way through to elders. Mm -hmm. And um, so starting early on, we have WIC, Women, Infants, and Children, right. Children's Program mm -hmm. that provides um, nutrition and nutritional information for um, new families. Right. And um, we have the family resource centers, the four family resource centers, oh, cool. which are Nueva Vista down in Beach Flats, mm -hmm. Live Oak Community Resource Center in Live Oak, uh, um, La Manzana in well, um, Watsonville, yeah. and um, and Mountain Community Resources. Beautiful, there we go. Time. See, I you know, we, have fun. we have time. Yeah. We, can go to, we want to make sure that everybody <laughs> you know, understands right. really the breadth and the depth right. of, of these programs right. are wonderful. So we have Liftline. We also have Meals on Wheels. Mm -hmm. And um, we have CACFP, which I always get the, the initials <laughs> wrong with. Don't ask it's, me, isn't it? It's California. <laughs> no, it's Children and Adult Food Program. Yeah. You know, it's, so, it, yeah, so, it's so wonderful yeah. that Community Bridges is involved in the nutritional aspect yes. uh, of, of not only surviving in Santa Cruz County, but thriving. Yeah. Right. And both for kids. So yeah. CACFP provides um, funding for daycares mm -hmm. to, for meals and training about how to, for the daycare, home daycare providers right. on how to provide healthy mm -hmm. meals. And, um, and then we also have the Child Development Division that provides daycare for, um, for oh, preschool. Oh, is that right? Now, I'm yeah. learning a lot myself. I yeah. know that uh, Community Bridges, uh, from my experience with them, has a, a host of wonderful programs, but you're you know, revealing to me some that I hadn't really thought about yeah. or wasn't aware that they're providing those. And right. of course, you're fully bilingual. Yes. And yes. we noticed that in the role. And, mm -hmm. and uh, it was interesting, I wanted to mention uh, about your outreach worker because she was featured on the, uh, the, the video. Right. What does the outreach worker do for Elder Day? So what she does is um, she does outreach with um, physicians. She helps physicians understand. She goes to physicians' offices, oh, so they good. understand okay. what yeah. we do. We get a lot of referrals from physicians. Mm -hmm. um, she also we kind of work together doing outreach. It's not just Elena doing that, no, but she does not. a great yeah. job with that. Yeah. We also um, will go to senior centers, talk to them about what mm -hmm. we do. There mm -hmm. are a lot of people kind of hidden in the community who don't know about our right. service and we're always trying to get yeah. the word out. Yeah. I always say we're one of the we're one of the best kept secrets in the county and it's not a good thing. No. We really we're kind of tucked away there in Harvey West, kind of over by the Goodwill. Mm -hmm. So people don't drive by and yeah. see us and um, so outreach is a really important thing so that we can get the word out so people know that we're there. And, and hopefully it's, it's uh, productions like this, and that's what we try to do with the Volunteer Advisory Committee and the public access side of mm -hmm. community television is really inform people and you know, really let them know what not only these wonderful services being provided, but kind of where they are, what they are, and how they can access them. Yeah. yeah. And uh, as well as the Elder Day, of course, and then you have the women, infants, and children, no free food, a lift line, all these things that kind of, it's kind of a holistic approach, I think, you know, to not only, as I say, surviving in Santa Cruz County, but thriving as well. Right. We, we actually, and I'm never really good at remembering statistics, but <laughs> <laughs> I believe that we touch one out of every 10 um, residents in this community. Wow. At at community bridges. That's phenomenal because yeah. we have we have 260 right. plus thousand people in Santa right. Cruz County, so you can do the math. Right. You know, yes. And see how so many yes, people. we yeah. we served last year. We served so that my I did remember right. Last year we served 27,000 people wow, at community that's fantastic. bridges. Yeah. And yeah. The, all of these programs, of course, you know, touch at individual each kind of stage of life. Of their life. Know? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. As we, the, please. No. I was no. Gonna no okay. Say, the other, the other thing about that is people might want to know at Elder Day, we usually, speaking of numbers, we Please. usually have uh, about 70 to 75 okay. people a day. Right. We have about 150 people who are mm -hmm. part of the program, mm -hmm. are enrolled in the program, but people, some people come five days a week, some come right. two days a week. They come whatever is works for them and whatever um, amount of care right. that they need mm -hmm. on a regular basis. So your so. space is large enough to accommodate comfortably the, the, the 70 participants, say, yeah. on any given day? Yeah, and yeah. We're, yeah. we're licensed by the state for 90. Oh, okay. And um, But that would be kind of tight to have 90 yeah, people yeah, there. Yeah. But, but we're good between Maybe 70. Maybe a closer between community. <laughs> <laughs> Very close. Yeah. But um, we, we're um, probably between 70 and 80 is our, our uh -huh. goal always. Yeah. And yeah. how long have you been at Pioneer? 
at that, at that, at that particular location? I can't tell you that. Yeah. Oh, why? <laughs> I would like to, but I, I think about 10 years. Yeah. Um, I've been with Elder Day for about three and a half years now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, Elder Day has been in existence for 35 years now. Is that 35 right? years in this community. My yeah. goodness gracious. Started out in a church on the east side, moved to the Harvey West Clubhouse, I think, briefly. No kidding. And There's then, a history. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and then was on Ocean Street for a number of years mm -hmm. on Ocean mm -hmm. Street and moved from Ocean yeah. Street over to Harvey West. But certainly uh, you're settled into this new facility. I really enjoy where you are now and the participants. Uh, yeah. I Just looking at the role in the video, I keep referring to that, but just the kind of feeling of not only gratitude for the service you provided, but the joy of actually being around other people people and one another you know yeah as, as I said it's it's a happy place yeah. you walk in the door and people are talking with each other mm -hmm. they're doing activities we have we have all kinds of groups programs right. we have people do gardening we have yoga we our physical therapist does some yeah. amazing kind of chanting yoga that's oh, very interesting yeah, yeah. we do dancing mm -hmm. movement well, one thing I'm curious about is uh, you do this, so many things that help people in all you know, aspects of their life. Uh, is there something, exercise they can do to kind of keep their mental acuity up? Because a lot of times when people get a little older, you know, mm -hmm. maybe you and I are just kind of on the <laughs> precipice of that. <laughs> yes, of course. But, but, you know, but they lose a little mental acuity. You know, yep. It's not so much memory. Yes. It's just kind of, you know, your awareness and able to kind of perceive your environment and right. kind of enjoy right. it. Right. You know? Well, and part of it, it is, it is memory in a way. One of the yeah. things that just a little sidelight that's really exciting about mm -hmm. that is that as people age, they one of the reasons that they have trouble remembering, mm -hmm. that they have difficulty remembering, mm -hmm. is that they have so much more experience. And they have you have more, you just have more to go through. Yeah. So it takes a little longer to find it. So it's more of a filing problem than than. Uh, memory problem in a way. Gosh, I really but, hadn't thought about that. That's a yeah, wonderful point. Yeah, I know. So it's, it's, there are, there are good things. There are uh -huh. benefits about the aging process yeah. in that way. But yes, indeed, they're probably the best thing. There are two things you can do. There are probably way more than that, but two big things you can do mm -hmm. to keep as, um, as clear as possible for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. One of them is to exercise. Exercise is probably kind of the mind body of connection them, there. Absolutely. Yeah. It yeah. is, it's, probably one of the most important things. The, so the, I'm going to add a third thing now. Please. The, so the, second one, <laughs> the second one is to keep your mind active. Right. So doing things like uh -huh. playing games, yeah. um, uh, doing crossword puzzles, right. uh, Sudoku is something that's, you know, oh, is anything that, right? that really keeps you, keeps you going. And then the other thing is not being isolated. Oh, of having course. Having companionship yeah. boy, oh, boy, and boy. not being yeah. lonely. Being lonely is one of the worst yeah. things in terms of your physical yeah. and mental health. Yeah. And, so I, and, I, and, and I think that's the fear, you know, that we all have, but certainly uh, even uh, uh, children of parents uh, thinking about having them participate in the program, are they going to be isolated? Are they going to be lonely? Right. You know, that kind of right. thing as you're older, it's so much more profound. Yes. You know. And they've been finding, I was just saying earlier today, they've been, there have been some recent studies that have shown that, that Loneliness is probably as destructive to your health as heart disease. Oh, for goodness it's, sakes. It's, loneliness is one of the most destructive huh. um, experiences you can have yeah. for, for your well-being. Yeah. Well, that's the wonderful part, I think, uh, of programs uh, like Elder Day, where a community is built. You know, there are mm -hmm. people there who, have, who can share life experiences, frankly. Yeah, you know? yeah absolutely. Uh, we had a program here recently, a wonderful program about storytellers, people who tell uh -huh. stories and read on the radio, the books and stories like that. But yeah. that kind of uh, continuous living memory, I think, uh -huh. is really important for older folks who, as you say, have, you know, it's not so much memory as they have so much, you know, in their, their, their stored memory capacity mm -hmm. that, you know, there's, there's, it's so rich that right. it's hard to maintain it all. Yeah. And I think that's one of the things that, that I hear my team say all the time and that I also notice all the time is working with people that are older. It is so lovely to hear all oh, of their yeah. stories, yeah. all of their experiences, to hear the things that people have done, what they've experienced. Mm -hmm. People, I, it's, I'm, I have an 18-year-old daughter, and, and she just can't believe that people didn't have computers <laughs> or cell phones. <laughs> you know, it's just yeah. shocking to yeah. her that that could possibly be There the was case. a time when information <laughs> was conveyed in some other way, right? Right, right. 
And so it's amazing. You know, the, our participants, we have one of our participants turned 99 on Saturday. Oh, for goodness And sake. so she's, she's our oldest participant uh -huh, right now. Uh -huh. um, we had another one a couple of years ago who turned 100. But, um, but she turned 99. And what she's experienced in her lifetime, the changes mm -hmm. that she's seen in our society and the community is yeah. just amazing. So hearing people's stories is mm -hmm. just, just a, a gift, I think, to all of us yeah. working with older people. Well, it's there's wonderful. so much to learn if you have the patience to listen. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and I yeah. think uh, from what you're describing at Elder Day, uh, that a there's an atmosphere there where people are you know, communicating with one another, listening to one another. They're actually relating mm -hmm. to one another you know, in the kind of real-world context and sharing those experiences from, from long lives. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's really amazing to watch. Mm -hmm. to watch that the interaction and and there's a real um, there's a real feeling of I would say kind of equality mm -hmm. between the staff and the and the participants That's there's wonderful. not a real yeah. there's not a real right. you know here yeah. we're in charge yeah. we're, we're, the we're doing providers. this we're serving you right you know, it's more it. it's more much more of an interchange and mm -hmm. and um, yeah. And, and I think, and creates a really positive feeling. Yeah. Well, we're getting down uh, the last couple of minutes, believe mm -hmm. it or not. This has been wow, wonderful. Uh, and we're talking about kind of the mind-body connection. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of physical activities have involved for people there when, when they're there? Right. So we've... Um, we try to include physical activity, absolutely. You're talking about anytime. gardening, of course, and that yeah, kind of thing. Anytime, yeah. any place we can. So we have a formal physical program. We have... Um, a, Again, a physical therapist, occupational therapist, evaluate everybody, mm -hmm. make a plan. We have a therapy gym. So almost everybody who's able to goes into the therapy gym mm -hmm. and does, does wow. a, a therapy, therapy mm -hmm. program every day they're there or most every day they're there. But we also include it. We do exercises before lunch. We do dancing. We get people up and dancing. Wonderful. Absolutely. We do yoga. We do, um, we do walks. We do literally laps around the building sometimes. We take people outside for walks. Mm -hmm. We, um, we well, do everything wonderful. we can, yeah. just, just yeah. everything. To keep people moving is probably one of the healthiest things we wow. can do, and we focus on that yeah. a lot. Well, thank you for yeah. all of this wonderful information and all your really great service to the community. Um, we really appreciate, I think, the opportunity to talk to folks like yourself who are not just providing service to people, but are actually participating the community. So thank you so much for that. Lois Soans, Program Director at Elder Day, which is a program of our good friends at Community Bridges. So thank you for being here and sharing with us you know, all of these wonderful experiences and information. Uh, I've been Steve Plage, and this has been another edition of Nonprofit Spotlight. Tune in next month, and we'll be highlighting another great nonprofit in our community. Maybe not as interesting as Elder Day, <laughs> but we'll try. But we'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks. Did it really, really that was did. great. That was, that was great, wasn't it? Yeah. So, that was great. You know, I it's mean, every time I do one of these shows, uh, and I tr 